that's agile. Did you ever think of what's involved with PM work in tech? Finish this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Joyce here at Joy of My Life. I do fashion, beauty, tech, vlogs, and all that beautiful stuff. So if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button down below. Today I'm gonna to tell you guys basically how I decided that I was gonna go into PM and what I do now as my job. So if you guys want to hear more about that, let's get right into this video. So it's going to be a Get Techie With Me. I haven't done a Get Techie With Me, I feel like, in so, so long. If you guys are new to my channel, a Get Techie With Me is basically me talking about a tech topic while I do my makeup because it's kind of like a get ready with me, you know? But I made it Get Techie With Me. So that's that sum up in a, in a sentence. So recently I became a PM or better known as project manager. I've kind of made the switch into this you know, position from being a developer. So at first I was doing development, I was doing JavaScript, and then I did some Java as well, but I was mostly doing JavaScript and working with like React and all of that stuff. But now I'm currently working more as a project manager, more on the business side, but still working, you know, with developers. First off, what does a project manager do? What is a project manager, right? More so of what a project manager is, we, you know, obviously are <laughs> managing the project, but I think the reason why a project manager does what they do is because they're more focused on, you know, the why I think of why we're doing this. Why is a developer making this? You know, what are the business requirements? What are the business needs for the specific feature or just the project in general? You know, if we're thinking about it in a grand scheme of things, you know, why is this project even happening? But I think on a day to day basis, why is this feature being built, why is this bug being fixed? Like what is, what's going on and why we need this? Currently what I do, I do more, you know, I do a, a I guess a, a, a hybrid of, you know, two things. One, I am definitely, you know, working as like a liaison. So speak between other managers, other PMs, other business, I guess, leads in between to the developers, into the dev team, you know? So the QA people, you know, all that. I'm kind of like that person in between where, who communicates and who keeps the communication fluid between the two parties. In addition to that, I'm also working kind of as a scrum master as well. So what a scrum master does involves agile. Now, have you guys heard of agile? Have you heard of Agile? For people who do not know, Agile is a an efficient way of working, I would say. You're completing work in such a way that you're gonna commit to a certain amount of work and you're saying that you're gonna finish that work in a certain amount of time. In the period of time that we're talking about, usually they, they're called sprints. So basically you have these very bite-sized, maybe weeks, days, months, whatever, but for us, you know, we do it in a couple of weeks and you commit a certain amount of work at the beginning of them of that sprint and you say you're gonna finish this work in that amount of time. It's easier to keep track of what's going on. You could, you know, focus on those specific tasks. So working in this agile environment, workflow, whatever you want to call it, I act as a scrum master. So what a scrum master does is basically running the whole show, running this whole sprint uh, cycle, making sure you're planning the sprints, the reporting at the end, making sure that you're on track with how much your team delivers each sprint and if we're going to increase that amount of delivery you're also managing that being able to communicate with other people so communication is a big thing <laughs> within uh, project management i'm gonna use penny for you thoughts penny for you thoughts <laughs> on my lids today this is usually like a highlighter but i don't think i've ever used it as a highlighter to be honest but <laughs> it's okay. On a day-to-day -day basis, like I said, it's a multitude of things, but every morning I run a scrum call or what is also known as a stand-up. A stand-up is part of this agile workflow that I was talking about. Basically, you have a 15-minute update call basically every morning of the sprint and you're basically going to go over what was done yesterday what is going to be planned to do today and if there's any bugs or anything that's happening that you know is blocking you from finishing your task usually i had that in the morning like one of the first things i do every morning and that can spark 
you know, other meetings if there's a problem or it could be really quick. It could be a 15 minute meeting and we're good to go for the next, the rest of the day. And then I might be working on a project, helping with the project. So I might be, you know, talking with other managers about stuff that we need to do for a certain project. So that might be meetings or that might be emails that I have to answer. There also might be things I have to talk to developers about. So with the project management, you know, being in like a tech field, it's really good to have that tech background because it's easier uh, to understand things for sure. Like, you know, you're, you're, it's easier for you to speak to the developers about certain things because you have that knowledge of develop, like developing yourself. I also do sprint planning um, once, I think like every two weeks I do reporting. Um, yeah, it's a lot of multitude of things, to be honest. I think the cool thing that I have learned from it is that, you know, it, it's cool to see the other side of, you know, like the, the development cycle, I think, because as a developer, I think you're really just focused on what the problem is or like what the feature that you have to build is and then how are you going to build it? What are you going to do to do that? You know what I mean? Like to complete that. As a manager, now the focus is shifted <laughs> and now you're kind of focusing on why you're even thinking of doing that feature. I think it's cool to know that why. I like. I really like being a PM. I've been really enjoying it. I think one of the main reasons I've been enjoying it is because I get to talk to a lot of different people and learn from a lot of different people. I am getting involved with a lot of different projects. I'm seeing, you know, how certain things are being built. I'm also learning a lot about like what the business needs and what they want. It's a lot of different areas that I'm being involved with and I really like that. First off, new lip gloss guys lip of the day i do lip of the day on my instagram stories so i'm gonna do it here on my youtube too uh, this is the essence shine 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 wet lip wet look lip gloss in the shade deep red love yeah it's been interesting to learn a lot about managing so if you guys had any more questions about what i've done why i switched into this what i did i guess to switch into this or like how i prepared when i kind of switch over to this let me know down in the comments below but i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is the final look i kind of just did like a brown and red look i mean on the eyes i tried to make it as subtle so more so the lips would pop and i think i did a good job <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!